All right, so let's just go through these patch notes real quick and see what's going on here. So, season two patch notes. Let's see, we have our little guideline for what's going on in the season. I'll just look at basically the the notes here. New maps. So the two ones that competitive wise people are talking about are Vista and Departures. I remember Vista had a really good like mini map when I first saw what it looked like. Uh, but here it says Departures is a clean competitive 6v6 map. So they're actually uh, marketing this as like a competitive map. So maybe maybe this will have to be tried out too. Um, I don't know how we're going to try it out or if we're, if we're going to try out for season two, but or start, sorry, stage two, but we'll see. Um, I, I have to see if it's going to be like in our esports version or whatever, but uh, we'll, we'll have to check that out once the esports build comes to, comes to play. What's good, everyone? How's it going? If I didn't say good morning, what's up? What's up? New war map. Uh, don't really care about that. New modes. We can skip over that. Weapons. Um, we haven't been putting in DLC weapons in competitive in a long time. I think the last one was probably what, like the the Ram Seven in MW twenty nineteen. Maybe there was one in Cold War too. I'm not sure if there was one in Cold War, but I don't know. The DLC weapons just never get used, or they they get banned instantly. I'm not I'm not sure why. What's good? What's good, people? Uh, aftermarket parts don't have to worry about that new perk so new vest makes it way uh, makes its way to multiplayer for those of you with a silent but deadly playstyle ninja vest so eliminates enemy footstep or eliminates footstep sounds immune to movement reduction effects shuriken throwing knife okay we don't care about that i wonder if this means does this mean it's like stuns and stuff too there's no way right because if you can bypass stuns with this i think it might get ga'd and broken I don't know. Um, but that would be insane, I feel. Anyone, anyone know about that? They got abandoned ranked already? Yeah, I, I mean, I kind of assume so. If, if, this is, if this is immune to stuns, that's, that's insane. Because it's basically tack mask with, with dead silence as well. So that kind of feels it kind of feels broken. So that way you would run like, I guess what is it, running shoes instead to get the tax sprint reset and whatever, um, rather than running the infantry vest and then run this. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely seems OP. So I'm I'm assuming that's gonna get banned. Um, new operators don't care. New events don't care. Gameplay. Prompted by player feedback and internal review, these changes intend to improve the precision and responsiveness of aiming. That sounds good. Uh, particularly while using mouse, although these changes may be observed regardless of the input device. Okay. ADS idle sway. While players aim down uh, sight, idle sway is active. We know that already. This mechanic discourages players from holding their sights for an extended period of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, they're just explaining what ADS idle sway is. ADS LSY now initiates shortly after aiming down sight rather than immediately, introducing a delay to the sway curve that is generally five milliseconds long but varies by weapon. So actually, that's a that's a really good change because like now instead of having idle sway right like right away, you're you're having that prolonged ADS for a little bit of time before that kicks in. So I actually like that. Yeah, this, this makes everyone more accurate. After the initial delay, ADS auto sway now gradually increases over a three second period before reaching peak speed rather than the beginning at full speed upon aiming down sight. So yeah, it's, it's letting you aim down sight for a little bit longer before it starts kicking in. ADS auto sway now consistently begins from the position of the player's hip fire crosshair rather than along the, the sway curve. So yeah, again, uh, more like better centering will improve this. These changes ensure that players with fast reflexes and precise aim aren't disadvantaged the moment they aim down sight. So this is a this is a W change, honestly. I think that's going to be really important, um, like competitive wise. It's just better people with better aim are going to be rewarded for it. And like the fact that it, the like the ADL idle sway doesn't kick in right away is, is important because ADL idle sway is always like a little bit random movement. You know what I'm saying? So if it's kicking in right like right away it's not as good but now it's it's initiating after a little bit of time so w change honestly 
hipfire cross, crosshair sway. The trajectory of weapon bullets is represented by the hipfire crosshair position on the player's screen. Previously, the crosshair was influenced by the direction of the weapon, causing the firing direction to deviate from the center of the screen. Today's changes eliminate the resulting compromise to accuracy without sacrificing the weight and reactivity this motion added. Hipfire crosshair will no longer sway from the center of the screen while the player moves or rotates the camera. Good. Weapon bullet trajectory is now truly aligned with the hipfire crosshair and thus the center of the player's screen. Again, helping with centering. So uh, another W change. This is honestly really good. This is, uh, this is good for, for competitive. These changes are worth skillful aim. Simply put, when you're aim where you're aiming is where your bullets will go. And that should always be the case. So actually W gameplay changes, really. Looking ahead, all right. Uh, multiplayer. Okay, these are just like... Oh, decreased kill feed line duration from 10 to 5 seconds. This is actually huge. For those of you who don't know, like, specifically when counting, like counting names and knowing you got 3 or 4 down, making sure that it's a 5 second delay so that, like, if you have a 10 second delay and you see they're 4 down but you've only killed 3 people in the last 5 seconds, like, sometimes it gets confusing. So actually, that is a, this is a W change for competitive, this kill feed line. So, really small change, but that's actually really important. Uh, bug fixes. Just looking. Doesn't seem like anything's important for competitive. Brand transition UI will now be display correct scores. Okay. Those are just bugs, though. Probably, probably minute bugs. Gameplay, bug fixes, more bug fixes. No longer dive while using slide only. Decrease delay before health reg regeneration begins from four to three seconds. Interesting, okay. Increased health regeneration rate, so we're, we're regening better. So, interesting, we'll see how that plays. Surely the new maps today will be viable for Major 2. Uh, like I said before, if, if they are part of the eSports build, then I could see us trying it out. Uh, if they aren't, because that's what we're going to be playing today once the eSport build gets updated to like the, the new patch. Because they have to update it from Major 1, where we were playing on that old patch, to... I don't know if they're updating it to Now patch, or the patch we were just on, if, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know which one they're, they're updating to. Um, okay. We have just had health, we've adjusted health regeneration to better match the pace of gameplay. Now, for example, it only take around five seconds to heal from one to one fifty health, down from previous seven point seven seconds. This is huge. Two point seven seconds from one to one fifty is a lot of time. So this is this is a really interesting change, and it'll probably it'll probably affect um, respawn a lot. Honestly, these changes aim to enhance the intensity and satisfaction of gunfights. We look forward to feedback. Blah blah blah. So I think that's that's a really, really big change. So the aiming changes and that health regen changes are, are pretty big, honestly. So let's go progression. We don't care about that. Maps, high rise adjustments to prevent players from spawning in unfavorable conditions. Still nothing about the, the propane tanks, unfortunately. Uh, I would have loved to see something with the propane, propane tanks, honestly. Uh, sub base refined hardpoint objective boundary in the warehouse P3 to prevent capture from unintended location. This is the thing that Shotzi was doing uh, on stream yesterday, the little contest spot. So glad they fixed that. Uh, it was going to be G8 spot anyway. Terminal, don't care about it anymore because we're not playing it. Uh, underpass, wasteland, don't care. Modes, private match, corrected HUD elements after changing teams in war mode, don't care. Disabling perks via grammar will no longer, okay, whatever. Weapons and attachments, decrease melee lunge and MW3 weapon. Okay, so we're basically bringing the MW2 weapons back up to speed. Uh, assault rifles, MCW, increase aim down sight speed and increase spinter fire speed. So MCW getting a nerf. So I believe they, they buffed it in the, in the previous patch, but now it's getting, now it's getting a, a pretty decent nerf. Plus 10% aim down sight speed, plus 5% sprint to fire speed. It'll make the subs a little bit better, I guess. And then these are the, the kits and stuff. Battle rifles, submachine gun striker. 
Medium damage range, near medium damage range for Striker. I still think the rifle will be primarily used. I don't think it'll change anything for us specifically. Shotguns, LMGs, marksmen, don't care. Sniper, don't care. Launchers, melee, attachments. Okay, field upgrades, any trophies or dead, sil dead silence. Resolve an issue causing activation sounds to be more audible than other players intended. Okay, good fix. I don't really know how often that would happen, but good fix, honestly. Uh, MW2 rank play. All right, so we're just talking about the rank play. Maps and modes. Maps removed, skid row. Maps added, Rio. Hard point, maps removed, terminal. Maps added, Rio. So we're moving Rio into the SD map pool and taking out skid row and moving Rio into the hard point map pool taking out terminal and obviously sub was re returning to rank play after they had taken it out. Oh, Renetti. I, did, I missed Renetti. Let me go back. Uh, Renetti. Oh, this is just the kit though, right? So that, that's just the, what is it called? That kit thing that they, they talk about. We're good. We're good chat. So terminal terminal hard point finally removed and we're moving uh, removing skid row uh, search and destroy for Rio. Content restrictions. All right, so they're just getting rid of the the weapons. Tactical pads are removed. Oh, and they've already they've already actually removed ninja the ninja vest the new the new vest. They're actually removing this. So good good change. Or not not good change. Good good job on them actually getting getting ahead of it. You know. SR tuning. Okay, help elevate up players to their extended or intended <clears throat> skill division faster. Okay, the amount of SR deducted after losses for players who are well beyond their intended skill division has been increased substantially. I'm surprised they, they haven't put anything like a uh, a solo or duo queue limit right on people that are, are high elo. I would be interested if they ever did that. So they're going to have a skill setback at the end of the season. Bronze through Crimson 1 players are set back three tiers below where they finished in the previous season. So a player ending season 1 in gold 3 will begin season 2 in silver 2. Or silver 3, sorry. Players uh, Crimson 2 and above will start at season 2 at Diamond 1. So everyone who's above C uh, Crimson 2 will start at Diamond 1. Or yeah, they can do four stack Q with less SR again. So I remember them doing that. Um, I guess it was last year. <laughs> okay, rank rewards. E, good, good, good. Rank rewards. Here's the different camos and emblems and stuff. That's cool. You get operator skins based on where you place. And rank play first place will get a calling card and stuff. Okay, so cool. So honestly, the bigger, the biggest things, obviously the map pool changed. So we're having Rio in for Skid Row Search and Rio in for Terminal Hardpoint. The aiming changes, the MCW nerf, and the health regen changes. So those were, I guess, were the biggest, the biggest ones uh, to take away from, from these patch notes. But pretty decent, pretty decent patch, uh, to be honest. I, I actually really like those, those health regen and aiming um, buffs. Those will, those will be cool, and I want to see how it changes everything. Explain the kill feed thing again. Okay, so here. Actually, the kill feed one was also a really good change. I forgot about that. Uh, where was it? Decrease kill feed line duration from 10 seconds to 5 seconds. So when you're playing the game and you have your kill feed duration up to 10 seconds, that means more kills than should be displayed are going to be displayed because people are going to respawn within like let's say five seconds and it's it'll still be on that 10 second feed if that makes sense so counting is is much more difficult because you see three down in your kill feed but only two people have died in those in the last like let's say five seconds because you you have a kill feed duration of 10 seconds so this is this is 